Today we're talking about how to use a water meter to detect a leak in your supply plumbing site. I'm Margaret Roush, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about DIY, smart home, and other home related stuff, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Water meters are a tool, not just for the city to send you a bill in the mail every month, but for you to detect if you have a leak. Not only that, but if you're in the market for a house or if you want to list your house, they're definitely something you want to check out to make sure you don't have a leak before the home inspector finds it. Today, we're going to zero in on the most sensitive part of your water meter, and that is the leak detector. What this does is it gives you a sense of how fast the water is going into your home. As you can see in the intro, mine is a triangle. Others are stars. It really just depends on the model. They all do the same thing. They will show you if the water is going fast, slow, or anything in between. But what happens if it's not moving? Are you out of the woods? Well, not necessarily. This is one case where you can take a picture, walk away for 15 minutes, come back, and then verify. Did something move? Did a number move? Did the dial move? Are you looking at that same triangle? Is it in the same spot? But at the same time too, you want to make sure that there is no water coming on inside of the house. Not just something like accidentally flushing the toilet, but also things like the ice maker. Something that would be an oops to really mess up your measurement there. Here you can see for yourself, this is the most boring time lapse I have ever shared on this channel so far that absolutely nothing is happening for 15 minutes. I love my wise cam time lapses, but you can see for yourself proof. There are no leaks in my house at this time. If you have a smart meter, your digital reading should go into the hundredths of a decimal. So the time test will also work for you. One of the major benefits of cities moving to smart water meters is sending leak notifications to homeowners if a potential issue is detected. This may or may not be automated, so check with your water company if you have questions about this feature. This gives you the ability to know there's an issue much sooner than having to go outside and look at your water meter. Unfortunately, this method still has some limitations. If you have a very small leak, it may not detect it. In the coming weeks, I'll be sharing with you all the different ways that you can detect leaks within your home, whether it's something that you already have, water meter, or all the way up to a whole house water monitor and shut off system, something that you can use so that you can detect in real time on your phone the water usage in your home, including leaks. I hope you found this helpful and hit that like button if you did, and I will see you next Friday.